What's up guys, this is episode 8 of my Creative Club Kara Mode with ZM Cohetes. I just finished the previous video and I'm immediately recording this one because I want to try and post two videos in one day with this series because I wasn't able to post in the last two days. So I mean if you guys see this video on the same day as you see the, the um, episode 7 then that will be good. Hopefully I can actually edit both of them immediately when I'm done. But first order of business, Batch actually got injured in the match against Villarreal last episode. We absolutely demolished them. If you guys didn't watch it, you should definitely go check it out. And also leave a like on this video and that one as well. And also subscribe to the channel. Thank you. I completely forgot that this guy was in this team, Kovacevic. He gave me a lot of heartache at the beginning episodes of this season. And no cap, ever since I took this guy off the team, and into the reserves, the team has actually been doing really well, if you guys have noticed. The first match we're playing in this episode is going to be against Sevilla, but I'm not going to be playing the match. I'm going to be doing the highlights, but um, this guy, Stewart, is actually low on stamina right now, so I'm going to be bringing Lozano in. Lozano is actually pretty tall. I mean, I, I talked about it last episode, like, look, he's actually 6'4". I'm playing both attacking and defensive highlights because the last time I played against them, we actually were drawn all the way to the 90th minute, but just like that, we skipped to the 120th minute, and they were, they were already today off. I don't want that kind of shit to happen ever again. And I'm just going to try my best to defend because I'm, I mean, I'm not really the best at defending. But let's just see if we can get the win in our first match of this episode. We haven't, we haven't actually lost like in a while, to be honest. We've been drawing and drawing and drawing and winning and drawing most of the time. But still, that's a really good pass. But I think that should be offside. That has to be offside. But we're able to get it to our keeper this is what i hate about this thing they get like literally all of the freaking attacks in every every bloody match to be honest we have a counter attack here and i want to give it to german straight away but he's not able to i wonder what the help on taker is doing but we're able to get it to him and please score it and you're not able to score it but german is right there to bury it into the post for the first goal in this match in the 30th minute that was really good good vision from for taker to spot where where German was and he was able to fire that into the into the back of the net. So let's just try and make Rise get the fuck out of here. And then whoops, whoops, whoops. What am I doing? Okay, that was that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. But Dandre was able to get get the save there. We're in the 45th minute now and they are having a counter-attack. Let's hope that we can. Okay, so they were able to make it. I wonder why the hell that was even a highlight in the first place. If they were just going to blow the whistle like less than a second after but good first half from german though he actually did really well to be able to get that goal he's currently the best player in the team ratings wise i have no idea why we are starting like this are they going to skip to like an attacking scenario or are we just going to what the hell was that pass i can see german i can see fonseca but i don't know if a player is currently on fonseca but i will give it to german who shouldn't have a problem giving this to fonseca here and obviously he had a problem but we still have Rise on the ball and yeah, that chance is good. I, I, I could have just run with him. I could have just run with him, but I have no idea what I did. I actually got the ball back there, but they just didn't let me hold the ball, which is which is quite annoying. I mean, I already know what this guy is going to do, and obviously, but hopefully, yeah, we get the ball. To defend this is going to be freaking tough. I have no idea why Lozano is all the way there, but let's just try our best right now, and Bandre did really well to get that. We have a solo run for... Um, Fonseca. I haven't scored with him in a while, but I think Rise is actually set up for a better opportunity here And I'm just going to give it to him and I mean shoot, he should score this definitely. I mean what the hell? What the actual hell? That ball was legit going into the post and they decided to cut it off at the worst possible time Oh my god, just imagine I was playing attack on the highlights and that happens and I end up losing the match I will lose my fucking shit That's actually not fair because he was supposed to get a goal there I don't know why I keep on forgetting about his matter but he has been injured for 3 months That's going to be till next season I mean there's literally no way he's going to be playing any other matches this season We kept yet another clean sheet in that match against Sevilla We are going up against Espanol now We are in the final month or rather we are about to enter the final final month of the La Liga and um, I'm not going to play this match I'm going to simulate it with our first team and hopefully we should get the win please not a draw not another draw okay yeah we do get the win courtesy of Rise, James and Kallenberg next up we have Osasuna Fonseca has reached an 84 Madrigal has finally got him up to an 80 Zara is on an 89 so we're waiting for him to get to that 80 mark and I'm going to be simulating this one as well let's hope we get the win and we do away from home we have Zara Fonseca and Rise. we have three matches left in this episode and it's against Valencia Real Madrid at home and then Let's Go Madrid away from home. So I completely forgot that we hadn't played Let's Go Madrid and Real Madrid and they happen to be the last two teams that we're playing. Hopefully, 
Hopefully, we don't lose our Champions League position in those two matches. We're currently 74 points. Real Madrid is 9 points ahead of us. And Atletico Madrid is 4 points behind us. If we lose that match, if we lose this match to Valencia, if we lose this match against Valencia, then Atletico Madrid is going to have a chance of getting second position. I mean, there's really no difference with second and third unless there's actually some sort of extra money that I would want to have. But other than that, there's really no difference. I don't think we are losing our Champions League spot anytime from now. And Barcelona... I mean, has three more matches to get into the Champions League. I'm seeing this one with our B team because I want all our first team players to be fresh for that match against Real Madrid. So let's see if we get the win. It's a good enough result. If Atletico Madrid won their match, then they will be two points behind us. And if we lose against Real Madrid, we'll still have an opportunity to win them and go back up to second position. Assuming we're going to be able to win that match though. All right, Real Madrid is coming to the Estadio de Cojetes in this match. It's first against second. The last time we played, there was a very controversial win at the end with Real Madrid getting two goals at the time minutes to get the win in that match are we the toughest opponent that they have played this season I and mean, we can only find out by watching if you guys have enjoyed this episode so far make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already this is the second to the last match of this episode and second to the last match of this season so let's hope we can go out with a bang because i really want us to be able to solidify our sports our second place just because of bragging rights all right so we kick off here this is definitely the toughest match of this entire season because i mean they're the only teams that have actually okay and villarreal as well like those two teams are the only ones that have actually beaten us are we going to be able to get our revenge against the real madrid side that played against us because our team is actually way better their team is better as well but um that was a very very horrible pass and they have a really good opportunity in, at the beginning and let's just try and defend as best as we can we do but for some reason their feet are freaking mad <laughs> For some reason, the ball is like magneted to their feet because I got the ball there, but for some reason, Asensio was still with the ball. And what the hell was that? That that was that was so annoying. That was so annoying. And you can't you can't really do anything. You can't really do shit in the defense against a team as good as Real Madrid. To be honest, I mean, and it's not even my fault because I actually did all I could to actually like prevent that goal. But I mean, hopefully these guys don't beat us like five goals or something like in this match because I. I, I would like to think that we did really, really well in the previous match. And I see, I see German, but that would be very fucked up for us. Okay, that was really, that was a really good skill. And I have no idea why Stewart stopped running there. That was really annoying because I had already passed to him. Okay, we have a chance here and that, that was good. That was good. That was so good, but we just weren't able to get the... The, the goal there okay that was a really good interception and we have an opportunity here let's see if Kallenberg is going to make the run I want he's not but Fonseca is and please tell me that's a goal that's a really really good goal that was a really good pass from German his passing is actually getting way better and we're able to equalize against Real Madrid this is exactly how it happened in the first match that we played against them at the beginning of the season and uh, that was a really good pass to find to find Fonseca there and there's nothing a big keeper like Courtois could have done in that situation. We have a chance here and I think that's offside. Hopefully it's not. It's not. And I can see German here but the cross was just too much for him. And let's see if we can get the chance. No we can't. And I mean we're still with the ball here. And I see German but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't go to him. And yeah, the whole thing is fucked up now. But we're still with the ball though. I can try and give Fonseca here, but oh oh my days! That actually that was actually on target. I didn't I did not I did not expect that at all. I mean let's just try and see what German can do here with the with the corner. I mean we go straight to, to Donovan and I mean we have another opportunity here and let's see if we can do anything but nothing happens and that's the end of the first half. That was a really Really good match in my opinion, or rather really good first half in my opinion. And well, we actually were the better of the teams. Funny enough, we had more possession, we've had more chances, and well, that's a really a really really good performance from our team there. I actually like how they have decided to go all out in this match and try and hold through Madrid because I mean we already took revenge on one team and it would be nice to take on another, but that's offside and that chance dies. 
All right, so that was a good save from Vandre. I mean, I, I really can't talk at all when I am, I am defending because I really want to put all of my, all of my attention into what is happening. Because if I talk, I might just get, I might just get um, distracted. But uh, we have an opportunity for a counter attack if we can just get this ball out from Asensio's feet. It's supposed to be highly impossible though because I mean that that happened. Uh, let's just put this away. And well, we can't we can't keep the ball. We say actually does keep the ball, and we have have a really good chance that nothing comes out of, and that should have been a foul in my opinion. Though. Okay, so that was another really good chance for them, but Boundary is the one that's saving our asses right now, and let's just hope that he does that all the way to the end. All right, so we have a good chance for a reset that I just fucked up there but now we have a better one for a German here and he gets the goal and we are up against Real Madrid I think he's the one that scored the first goal I really can't remember who scored our first goal oh it was Fonteca but now we have gotten our head in this match that was a really really good way to um, improvise and actually end up with a goal all right so we're one goal ahead now this is exactly how the first match panned out and if they actually get two goals at the end of this match here I'm going to be so I'm going to be so freaking pissed but this team is actually doing really well to be able to hold Real Madrid in the uh and we, we, we can actually do this we can actually do this oh my god oh my days oh my days I accidentally held L1 and R1 for the power shot there right they have an attack here that I absolutely have to sort out and Madrid actually does well to get that away from the attack I think that was Valverde I think there's a good chance for an attack here I mean Kamavinga shouldn't really be as fast as German right now and Rudiger sh really shouldn't be able to hold him as well but he does and I asked for his skill there but it did not work when stuff like that happens it's actually really really fucking annoying we actually look like we're going to be able to hold hold them this match I mean that's how that's how it looked in the last match but let's hope that it's actually it's act that's actually the case here and I mean I might actually slide to save my life right now and this is bad this is freaking bad but we're able to cover cover our post there and cover the pass that was imminent so I mean they have completely fucked up because I am going to waste every last fucking drop of time in this match I mean just watch me just freaking watch me I'm going to die here literally I am going to die here and exactly that's what we did that's the end of the match and we're finally able to win Real Madrid I mean it was a really tough match to be honest but I don't know for some reason the team just comes really alive when they're playing a team that is so big because I mean funny enough we actually haven't lost to any of the big teams apart from Villarreal and Real Madrid and that's only once and we have actually come back and gotten our revenge on both those teams and that is fucking amazing to be honest our team is legit proving to be the next big thing in the La Liga in just our first season and we're playing legendary at that which just means that next season we're going to have to bump up the difficulty to ultimate i mean i play legend i play ultimate normally like in fifa 22 and the previous ones but the problem is and of course here we have the clinchy leader this guy has done absolute wonders in this season he is currently valued at 40 million i think he's an 81 rated keeper right now and he has Played 36 matches and conceded 34 goals. I think that's actually really, really insane. And then he has gotten 17 clean sheets. That's absolutely amazing. The only way we're not finishing this league second is if Atletico Madrid win this match. And I'm going to die before I let that happen. We are going to be in their stadium though. So it's going to be way tougher for us to actually win this match. But I'm going to absolutely try my freaking best to be able to hold these guys to at least get a draw. Real Madrid has basically won La Liga, but I'm fighting for my second spot right now because I want to be able to say that in our first season on Legendary Difficulty, I actually got second in La Liga. The only change I'm making to the starting 11 is Maduke coming in for Rise, and there's not really any other person that is actually good enough to start in this match so i mean it's sad that batch is not going to be able to be in the final match of the la liga we have actually done really really well for the entirety of the season and even if we finish third we are still going to be in the champions league next season and that's going to be absolutely fucking insane for us so our last game of the season is going to be in an extraordinary stadium like the wanda metropolitano that's good for us and to be honest we absolutely have to win this match i actually want to be able to win this match because i mean we have beaten them once already and they'll be looking for their revenge but I mean we should be able to hold them because we actually just held Real Madrid back just now but it's their home stadium and I feel like it's going to be a, a lot harder but let's just hope that we are going to be able to get the win here 
All right, so that was actually a really good save from from Bandre, but we are still in trouble here. And Helvig does the does his job, and we are still in trouble. I don't know why we're we're not able to clear this freaking ball. Uh, they have a really good chance, and I do not fall for that at all. All right, so what do we have here? We have Fonseca. I mean, that pass wasn't good at all. That pass wasn't good at all. But do we still have a chance? No, we don't. No, we don't. And we might still have, but we, we do not. It's dead. But we're still with the ball here. And let's see if we're going to be able to do something absolutely special in this match. Alright, so I think I think we might get the ball or not. Karasu so is going to get that ahead of Zarachu. And we, st we should get the ball. Come on, like, guys. So this should be a counter-attack that I should not fuck up. And, and of course, of course, he played to his fucking back. And Maduke, come on, what can you do for me here? And that was a really good chance, but all black boys on that. Alright, so we have a really good opportunity here for Fonteca to score. And oh my god, that was that was actually really nice. That was actually really nice. Just like he just wasn't able to get it on target. Okay, so we have yet another yet another chance here. And score it, please. Oh my god, this all black guy is on crack. All black is on crack. That was a Perfect, that was a perfect pass from Madike to German, and we just weren't able to get it. But let's see if Donovan has something in store for us here. And of course, all black, all black saves it once again. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? And the chance, come on! I, I, I always talk about trying to get that one time, and oh my god, oh my god, all black is legit saving every freaking thing right now. Let's see if Fonseca can do something with this. He does and oh my days bro this keeper this keeper is literally saving their asses right now he has literally saved like five in a row or something like that or six that was to the bottom corner but he was still able to get that makes me wonder if i should buy a black or something when i actually have money and of course of course of course that that's how it ends that's how it freaking ends with, with us hitting the post <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm really going to be fine with a draw in this match because we've actually done really, really well. I mean, for the fact that we're playing legendary and Let's Go Madrid isn't really giving us that much of a challenge right now. And let's just hope that... This guy looks really good, to be honest. And let's just hope that um, we're going to be able to at least get the win. I don't want to lose because I really, really want that second place spot. Alright, Fonseca kicks off and we have the second half ahead of us right now. Are we going to be able to get a goal? We've had like... How many chances? According to the stats, it's 50-50 possession and we've had 11 shots on goal. And I wonder how many are on target. Sorry, let's, I just want to check this out. 11 on target and that is, that is mad to be honest. Okay, so I kind of lost my bearing there. And we should be able to do something here, but no, they... We, okay, we, we're still with the ball. And please, that was on side. Tell me that was on side. Fuck. Alright, so they are in on goal right now, but let's just try and defend this as best as possible. They want to come and literally chill on the left, on the left part of the field right now. That's literally what they want to do. And they're going to pass my life out until I'm tired and nothing will happen. But Zarajo will save us there. And we should have a really decent counter attack right now. Please, and what the hell was that pass? Come on, what the actual fuck was that pass? I mean, you, you can't do better than that for Taker. But anyway, I'm going to be bringing in Rise into the match and I'm bringing Varela in for those stores. Then Lozano is probably going to come in later on. Probably for um, Donovan or Helvig, whoever I feel like is tired enough. They have a really good opportunity, but Helvig is just able to choke them and get that out for a corner. And yeah, this should be a really good chance. But no one is running. We're still with the ball here and Fonteca, oh my days. That was a really good pass, but it was it was intercepted. And we get the ball there. That was really good play from Varela. That's actually really good for him from him. And okay, so we see Rise there and he has a shot on goal and it doesn't work out. And why the hell didn't he shoot immediately? I told him to shoot. I swear to god, I actually shot. I mean you guys you guys legit saw the um the power bar come and go and that was that was fucked up because I actually I actually shot there and that could have actually been our goal okay what the hell is happening right now what the hell is happening right now please try and defend this ball you got okay Fonseca come on and this should be a goal this should be a goal no cap please thank you that is the best finishing that I've ever seen this guy have outer foot chip and it went 
over Oblak and there's nothing that he could have done. That was a really good goal. And we are showing Atletico Madrid that we are actually the bosses of them in this match. I bring Lozano into the match, but that goal, that goal has to be the goal of the... I mean, I, I, I call the Rise goal the goal of the season, but I think... I think I prefer this one to be honest, but I mean, I will see which one I prefer. And that's 19 goals. Is he going to be able to reach the 20 goal mark in his first season? I mean, hopefully he can, but we have just 10 minutes or rather 20 minutes to do that. If he does, that would be for him. If he doesn't, I don't really, I don't really, I'm not really bothered about that. Okay, these guys are fighting really hard to come up with an equalizer here. And thank God we just were able to, oh my God, oh my God, we're actually able to we were actually lucky enough for him not to hit that first time and we just completely fucked everything up there at the end. I just mistakenly, I just accidentally took out Donovan and I mean, I could do that. I could bring in, I already brought in Lozano for, for Zarachu so I don't think I want to bring in anybody else because I want to put in the best I can in this match. That was actually really fucked up because he actually missed his opportunity and I was thinking that our defenders were, able to, were going to be able to get the ball there but he literally just turned and confidently shot conveniently at that. Okay, so we have a good opportunity here, and of course it goes wide. I, I really do not know why the hell his power shots are that, that fucked up. I mean, it's, it's becoming quite annoying. Because I always end up thinking that I could have just shot and it, everything would have been better. But I mean, let's not look at the pass right now. I'm, I'm still trying to get Fontega his 20th goal of the club, or rather of the season. And I mean, it's, it's, it's looking like it's possible. It's looking like it's possible, and it's fucking possible. We actually, we actually get the goal for him. Oh my days. This is exactly how the last match ended. This is exactly how the last match ended. He actually got the goal to save our asses. And <laughs> we wouldn't have dropped down from the second position if, if um, we drew the match. But I still, I'm still really, I'm still really happy that he was able to get that goal. I mean, I wanted to do the power shot, but there was no freaking time for a power shot. Like, Matip would have closed us down really, really fast there. But, I mean, it's good that he was able to get get his 20th goal of the season in La Liga. We have won the match. We are second in the uh, La Liga for the first season. And that's, it has been a really, really good season for us, to be honest. Really, really fucking good season. And German did really well. I don't know if he scored in this match. I really can't remember. We end our very first La Liga season in second position. We defeated Atletico Madrid to stamp our position as second place. The team of the tournament for La Liga has arrived and we have Helvig, Donovan, Zaracho and Kallenberg making appearances for our team. I'm really proud of them. Vinicius takes the top scorer award. That's good for him. And the goalkeeper of the tournament obviously has to be Van Dre from our team because he has the most clean sheets. He has the most amount of saves. Then what I do at the end of every season, we're looking for the top goal scorer in the team. Obviously, it's going to be, it's going to be Fonseca. But let's take a look at the list of the top five players of the top five goal scorers in our team. And we have Fonseca with 21 goals. He scored one in the Copa de España and he got 20 in the in the La Liga. That's good for him. Then we have Rise with 14 goals and no assists. That's actually quite odd that like he doesn't get any single assist at all for the entirety of this season. But German actually focused way more on assists. So he's actually he actually did really, really well in this season to be able to get 12 and 12. That's 24 goal contribution. Fourth is Kallenberg. He scored 11 goals and 16. And obviously at the beginning of this season, I actually expected these four players to do the most in this season. Then fifth is our captain, James. He got three goals and three assists. At the CDM, I really am proud of that. It was a really, really good performance from the team this season. I mean, midway, they were actually fucking up, like around the beginning where they were messing up all their passes and all that stuff. But we we're actually able to stay in the top four for the entirety of this season. Sorry, my camera just died, so I really wouldn't be on the screens anymore. But this is the end of the episode, really. So we have our best player of the season, Fonseca, for the first season. And, well, that's good for him, to be honest. So this is the end of the episode. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also comment on what you think about the rankings of this team and how you think how you think they are going to do in the next season because i'm going to be switching to ultimates are we going to be able to do better or worse than what we did this season i mean it's obviously going to be harder but i don't think that we would do any worse we probably might still be able to get a champions league position next season i just don't want to be able to win the league next season because that's just going to be so fucking unrealistic but we tried this season getting second place and I'm really happy about that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching once again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.